The topic of mental health has recently gained momentum in the Estonian society. Taking care of your mental health while moving abroad can be challenging, but is still something important to pay attention to. For this, it is essential to know how Estonia approaches mental health, what has been done in this field and where you can get help, if necessary. Talking about mental health issues among the Estonian population has become more and more prevalent. This is not surprising as from 2016 to 2021, around 20% of the population experienced some problem with their mental health. Fortunately, the topic has become quite common in Estonia and many initiatives have been established to raise awareness and assist people in coping with the difficulties. Let us introduce some of these aspects to you. Where and how to seek help. If you have any problems or worries and wish to seek help, the first point of contact is your family physician, family doctor. From them, you can get assistance on physical and mental health-related issues. If necessary, the doctor will refer you to further specialists, such as a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Two important points to remember. First, not all those who come with a D visa qualify for medical insurance and family physician. More information on that in the video number 18. Second, not all doctors have experience working with patients from another cultural context. So, when booking an appointment with a specialist, make sure that the doctor can speak English and has experience working with people from abroad. If you do not have a family physician, do not worry. In Estonia, you don't need a referral from your family doctor to visit a psychiatrist or a psychologist. This means that you can book an appointment with a psychiatrist on your own by emailing or calling the hospital or by booking it online. Booking an appointment with a psychologist or a psychiatrist without medical insurance means that you would need to pay for your visit. If you have a referral from your family doctor, then the appointment is free or heavily discounted. If you have a private insurance, make sure to check with them what your options are before making an appointment. Another problem you might face is a long waiting time for the appointment, especially if you do it with a referral from a family doctor. Typically, it could take months before you make it to the specialist. If you would like to get to the doctor as soon as possible, Private clinics are an option. They have the same treatment options as public healthcare facilities, but you would have to pay for the visit. However, make sure to read the profile and education background of your therapist in the private clinic. Not all of them have a necessary experience or qualification in the field of mental health. Make sure to be clear on who you would like to see when making an appointment by phone or email. Emergency psychiatric help. In case of an emergency or an urgent medical condition, you can contact an emergency psychiatrist in major Estonian towns. This help is available 24 7 and covers the following cities Tallinn, Tartu, Pärnu, Viljandi, Narva, and Achtme. In case a person may cause harm to themselves or others, please contact the 112 emergency number. There are several mental health support contacts in Estonia. Mental Health Counseling 116006 provides prompt assistance to people who have fallen victim to an offense, negligence or mistreatment or experienced physical, psychological, economic or sexual violence. The service is free and available 24 hours a day. Assistance is provided in Estonian, Russian and English and you have a right to remain anonymous if you wish. More information on palunabi.ee The Child Helpline 116-111 Works across Estonia round the clock and calling 116-111 is free of charge. This number is intended for all matters concerning children and for reporting a child in need of assistance. Both children and adults are welcome to call this number. Alternatively, you can ask for advice by sending an email or starting an online chat on the website lasteabi.ee. 
Emotional Support Lifeline The lifeline is helpful for people who are in a state of emotional crisis, depression, feel lonely, are victims of violence, experience various relationship or family problems, as well as social difficulties. The lifeline is open for calls in Estonian at 655-8088 or in Russian 655-5688 every night from 7 p.m. until 7 a.m. You can also keep an eye out for the civil society events related to mental health. Visit the websites of the International House of Tartu the Estonian Refugee Council or the Johannes Mikkelson Center. We have a separate video for the International House of Tartu in our series, so you can look up the video number 35 for a more thorough description of their activities. Health Portals There are two mental health counseling portals in Estonia, Peasi and Lahendus. Let's describe them briefly. PAC portal works to raise the awareness of mental health and improve access to mental health services by helping young people to get appropriate help. Young people aged 16 to 26 can receive free personal counseling on mental health. Lahendus is a letter-based free and anonymous form of psychological counseling. The portal does not provide therapy or deal with the treatment of mental disorders, but tries to support people and help them analyze their problem for free. You can find a full list of relevant contacts on the website kriis.ee. Kriis.ee portal offers useful information and recommendations on how you can take care of yourself in times of crisis. For more information on mental health, counseling and ways of helping yourself, please visit Peasi or Lahendus. The Child Helpline website is lasteabi.ee.